Hello, my lovely Cancerians, and a very, very warm welcome to your birthday forecast for July of 2022. First of all, I hope that you enjoy the new microphone and that you find the forecast more enjoyable to listen to. Do give me feedback and let me know how you feel about it, please. On the sixth of the month, Mercury comes to join the sun in Cancer here in your first house. And also on the sixth of the month, Mars will join Uranus in this 11th house. So of course, this month, the spotlight is on you. It's time to shine your light. It's time to look at this year ahead and to maybe set some intentions, some goals, some dreams. What is it that you like to do? What would give you pleasure? What makes you smile? What do you enjoy? If you don't know, then make a list of at least 200 things that bring you pleasure and begin to work on that. Some of you will already know because you're very creative and it's time to, to just develop that, to share your gifts with the world. It's very important to pamper yourself and to do things that make you feel good. You're very good at nurturing others, but this is also a time to nurture you. Now, the Mars and Uranus energy in this 11th house could bring you some amazing new people into your world, some new social networks, new social connections. It's a wonderful time for really stepping out and uh, maybe joining some weird and wonderful types of organizations. Um, but it really might take you a little out of your comfort zone. But you could meet some really exciting and interesting and stimulating new people. You may find a, a whole community of people that really sets you alight. Or with the Mars energy, you might be starting your own community or being um, a leader in some way in getting something going, maybe a global summit or whatever it is. You may be really drawing people together to connect and to meet on a much higher frequency where we can accomplish so much in cooperation and collaboration together. Now on the 13th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your seventh house of relationships, lovely Cancerians. So this is shining a light on relationships, maybe bringing something to a head or something to fruition. It's encouraging you here to take your power in relationships, to be clear, to be, um, to not get too involved with the emotional sides of things, but to be able to be um, objective and not take things too personally, which you can do at times with your great sensitivity, my lovely Cancerians. It could also bring somebody new into your life. All right, I think we're back. I'm not sure what we lost, but um, I'm going to continue anyway in saying to you that um, this is just an important month to flash the spotlight on you and what you want and what you need moving forward. And then the lovely news is that on the 18th of the month, Venus comes into your sign, which is beautiful. Yes, this brings popularity. It can bring romance, love, peace, harmony, good fortune, financial possibilities, all sorts of lovely things come from this Venus in your sign. So really enjoy that. And it asks you really to focus on what is it that you enjoy? What do you love? And then to 
make it your business to do more of it. As you do that, you will have more to give to others. Yes, I know you want to give, but it gives you a full cup with which to share from. <clears throat> on the 23rd of the month, uh, whoopsie daisy, no, sorry. On the 20th of the month, Mercury comes into this second house on the 23rd, the sun. And on the 28th, a new moon into the second house. So a lot of focus on you, your relationships, and second house finances. New beginnings, new possibilities, new opportunities. So really, this can bring some good news to you financially and also um, just sets the scene for a new chapter. So you might want to, before, let's say, the 20th of the month, really think about what you would like financially, what you'd like to be doing, which talents of yours you'd like to develop and share. And then as we move towards the end of the month, uh, some of these opportunities may already be beginning to be magnetized to you. So I wish you a wonderful birthday. And um, you may wish to join me on some of my webinars. Every month I do a webinar about a different sign, house, planet. And uh, there'll be a series of 12 altogether. You can get them individually or all together at the very end. Uh, and this will give you a wonderful foundation for the understanding of the symbolism of astrology and how to use it in your life. So I thank you for listening. Much love. Bye for now. Oopsie daisy. Where's the button? Just have to. Thank you for being patient here, my lovely Cancerians. Happy, happy birthday.